hey love bugs and welcome back to my channel i hope the lighting looks okay i like low-key blinding myself with my ring light and i like i don't know if what i'm seeing is what y'all seeing because your girl is like <laughs> but anyway that's neither here nor there today i'm here with a little bit of summer love i feel like i haven't done any like summer forward videos aside from like sharing like some of my favorite picks for like deep conditioners and cleansers that I like to use during the summer. Um, the moisturizing shampoos video is going to go up tomorrow. I forgot I had some obligations, so I had to switch my schedule around, but that video will be up tomorrow. So I won't be including any shampoos or deep conditioners in this video, but um, these are like my summer recommendations. They have been like holy grail, on point, like skin on point, hair on point, body on point, scent on point, all of that. <laughs> so I really enjoy doing these videos because I feel like we all kind of have those seasonal favorites and I love to kind of, you know, curate for the season. So if you're interested in seeing some of my summer essentials, then just keep on watching. And I'm curious to know what y'all think about my hair. I'm trying to get into the middle part. Um, I had to manipulate it a lot because it like shrunk up so much that I was, it was giving Lord Farquaad and I refuse to go out like that. Like I, no, Th there are a lot of L's that I am willing to take in life. That is not one of them. <laughs> so, um, this is an Uncle Funky's daughter washing though, the curly magic and the good hair. Like the is it the good hair or the good hair day? One of those. It's their like cream styler, and I used it on my hair. I've kind of been struggling with my hair, so you know, hopefully, like she looks good. I'm not mad at her. It looks good when it's stretched, but when it shrinks up, like I, it's giving like '90s boy band Aaron Carter meets Lord Farquaad, and so yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know if I would do the middle part all the time because my hair just naturally shrinks no matter how much I stretch it. Um, but anyway, we're getting off topic. So let's go ahead and start right with the skincare. Um, let's start with cleansing. I'm very particular about cleansing during the summer months, especially because I wear a lot of SPF. I wear a lot of SPF all the time, but I reapply more in the summertime because I sweat even more. I'm already a naturally sweaty sister. Like I sweat a lot. I always have. Um, but especially like this time of year, like, you know. Your, your girl is really sweaty. So I have, I always have like hella oil cleansers on deck. Oil cleansers and balm cleansers um, because those are not only really great for removing makeup, but I always feel like my face is cleaner if I double cleanse using an oil cleanser to remove all of my SPF before I go in with a gel cleanser or whatever kind of cleanser I'm using that day. Um, these are the two that I've been gravitating towards the most. The first is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. I got put on to Dermalogica this year because they sent me like a pretty nice size PR package. Um, and I've never really like gone out of my way to try Dermalogica, but like it was there. I was going to use it, right? <laughs> um, and I got put on to this guy. I've seen this in so many places. I've seen so many people talk about it. And I've always been curious about it. And I love this. This beats out most of the other oil cleansers that I have used. Um over the years there have been quite a few drugstore oil cleansers that i have enjoyed with the exception of the fact that they burned my eyes um this one does not burn my eyes it has a very lightweight scent um if you are familiar with dermalogica you know that they do really well when it comes to not including a ton of fragrance in their products and their products to me are relatively gentle unless you're going for like those hardcore like retinols and things like that but this is like the perfect nightly double cleanse treatment i love it um this has really like been doing the job for me so i pretty much use this every night you don't need a lot you need one pump and it will last you forever and the other one that i have been using this was sent to me to try out from the brand um i think this this company doesn't have a lot of products i think they only have like maybe two three products tops they sent me this uh dew dream cleansing cleansing balm and it's from the brand Edom skin and if i believe if i'm correct i believe this is a south asian owned brand so the owner is a person of color 
Um, this says that it melts away makeup, excess oil, dirt, and SPF. And it does. This right here is probably one of the most interesting um, oil balm cleansers that I have used in a while. This is a cleansing balm, but it dispenses like a clear gel. So that's how it comes out. And it looks like a clear gel, but when you rub it into your fingers, it gets really thick for a minute, really tacky. As you continue to rub it in and then you work it onto your dry face, it turns into a really silky oil. And when I tell you this stuff gets off makeup like a dream, I have I have a lot of cleansing balms, y'all. And I have my favorites, um, the Pharmacy Green Clean and the Belief uh, Aqua Balm Cleansing Balm are my two like favorite balm cleansers. Um, and my, my criteria is that it has to be able to work into my skin easily, not just remove the makeup, but I want my skin to rinse clean when I'm done. Um, I don't want to have to take a cloth and like scrape at my skin to get the makeup off. But this rinses clean. You add water to it and it, it emulsifies into a milky liquid and everything rinses clean. This gets off the strongest of my mascaras, the thickest of my foundations. It's amazing. It works really well um, as a double cleanse to just get off SPF during the day as well. But I tend to go for like a lightweight cleansing oil for every day and then I'll break out my thicker cleansing balms when I'm wearing makeup and this does And then for actual cleansing, I have two that I have been switching between. The first one is the Seven War Cleanser from Elaine Beauté. Um, you guys have seen me work with this brand before. I love her products. I have been using her Savin Noir um, cleanser for a little over, uh, about eight months. Not quite a full year, but I've been using it for a while. This stuff is amazing. Um, I think I've only ever used one other product that has African black soap in it, and I believe that is the Urban Skin RX um, cleansing, you know, the the cleansing bar. This right here is probably the only other African black soap cleanser that I would ever, ever recommend that somebody use on their face. I rarely ever suggest African black soap cleansers in general because I find them to be very stripping. Um, and for a lot of people, it does more harm to their skin than good just because yeah, it clears up the acne, but it tears up your skin in the process. And a lot of folks are not good at formulating with African black soap. This is actually empty, so I can't show you the texture, um, but I do have, I think I can mute the audio and post the video I did with this uh, for a YouTube short. Um, a lot of the products that I've been using that I post on Instagram, I'm trying to make sure I upload them to shorts on YouTube. Um, so. You guys can see those, even though I may not do full YouTube videos on them. It's still like nice for you to you guys to have to reference. Um, but this is amazing. It is incredibly creamy and rich. It lathers like a dream and it makes your skin feel so good. It gives your skin like this really nice, fresh feeling. Um, but it's just so rich and creamy and unctuous on the skin. And when you rinse your skin clean and pat your skin dry, you are left with this beautiful glow. Your skin is super soft and it helps with the acne. Like this is one of my favorite cleansers for acne. This is amazing. This is luxurious. It's super effective. And like I said, one of the only African black soap cleansers I would ever tell you guys to buy. And then for my gel cleanser, I mainly use gel cleansers on nights where I have to remove my makeup because I'm very particular about getting my skin very, very clean. But I'm also particular about the types of gel cleansers that I use on my skin. I don't like to strip my skin. I don't like to dry my face out. Even though I am an oily girl, I'm an oily combo girl, I never go out of my way to strip my skin. Stripping your skin just makes your skin more oily in the long run. Um, and I have been using this In Beauty Project Keep It Clean Hydrating Gel Cleanser. Um, they also sent me quite a few things. So this was sent to me. They've sent me their moisturizers, this, I think a retinol. Um, and there are a couple, a couple of other products that they have sent to me in PR. Um, and I was really curious about this brand because I, I've seen it 
I always thought it was interesting, but I never like went out of my way to try it. So this is a Keep It Clean Hydrating Gel Cleanser. It's supposed to wash away makeup, dirt, and debris without stripping the skin. Um, and it supports strong skin barrier for visibly healthy, plump, and hydrated skin. And it's supposed to hydrate, smooth, and strengthen. It's infused with ceramides, 10 different amino acids, and vegan collagen. Um, so you get a pretty decent, decent amount in this cleanser. What I will say is that this is one of those cleansers that you can feel it lifting the oil and the dirt, but my skin feels incredibly soft um, and just smooth and it looks glowy when I rinse it off. Like I said, I have a very like specific criteria when it comes to cleansers. I don't like anything to make my skin feel tight um, or really dry. This does not do that. Um, even though I mostly use gel cleansers for when I remove my makeup, I actually sometimes will use this in the morning. Um, because it leaves your skin feeling very refreshed and awake um, and it feels incredibly soft and just smooth and I really enjoy this. I'm happy they sent it to me because I can see myself purchasing this again. If you're looking for something that is more so like on the high-end luxury side like you like to shop, to shop that end of things but you want something that's not like super fancy like a Tata Harper or a Tatcha like I feel like this is a really great way to go it just really makes your skin feel really beautiful and soft and nice but it gets off everything and that is exactly what I need I needed to get off everything without destroying my face so yeah in Beauty Project keep it clean hydrating gel cleanser this has been the moment for me and I'm not mad at it okay in SPF we got to talk about SPF one of these I think I talked about last year um, this is the Biosance Sheer Mineral Sunscreen, Broad Spectrum SPF 30, UVA, UVB protection, and it's supposed to protect and moisturize your face. This is one of my favorite SPFs for brown skin. It's one of the few that I can use that doesn't make me look like the Tin Man. <laughs> and it also is very nourishing to my skin. Another big problem I have with a lot of SPF products um, is that a lot of them break me out. A lot of them really clog my pores. I have very like grimy, gunky skin. Um, and so sometimes SPF will make it worse. And so I've like really been on a roller coaster with SPF because it just beyond the fact that a lot of them leave a really weird cast on brown skin, a lot of times it breaks me out horribly. This one does not um, I really enjoy it and I think this one uses, yeah, they use plant-derived squalane. So if, you know, you're someone who shies away from squalane, because I think squalane usually comes from sharks. This one's plant-derived. So I really enjoy it. It's nice. It's um, easy to work into the skin. And I'm sorry, y'all. They're like the cutest birds in this tree outside of my window. Like they're, so, oh my God, they're so cute. <laughs> nature let me stop but yeah this is bomb this one from k skin this is the universal mineral face lotion spf 55 and i think k skin i believe this skincare line is winnie harlow's i'm not a fan of winnie harlow i know she's not a good person okay <laughs> But I really like this. That's intriguing about this. Outside of the fact that this really works well with my skincare, it doesn't break me out. This actually makes my skin feel really good. Whenever I use this, my skin is very moisturized. It's glowy. It's healthy. I, I really like their approach to this because what they did was they actually made this sunscreen yellow. So if you get color theory, um, oftentimes... Um, the actives in sunscreen show up like purple and so the yellow counteracts that purple hue and so you can see like yeah it's a little pale but it works in really really well um, and this looks really beautiful on my skin I really like the formula of this and I like that they kind of thought about that from like a color theory perspective too I think that's really just smart um, and it works. It looks great on my skin. I think I have a picture of me wearing this just bare skin the other day. Um, so I'll insert it if I can find it, but I like it. It's really, really good. Um, it, you do have to work it in to make sure that it like fully, you know, absorbs like any sunscreen. 
Um, but once you do and you let it set on your skin for a little bit, it is amazing. And of course, a little bit of makeup. I didn't want to leave that out because I know I have makeup heads, you know, like me. Um, first things first, I got to talk about this. The One Size Turn Up The Base uh, Beauty Blur Balm is amazing. Now, I know y'all are going to say, what about the Fenty Ease Drops and the Rare Beauty one and all that? I still haven't tried those. I don't I don't know what's wrong with me <laughs> I haven't tried them and you know that's okay um this one is amazing though I have it on today and it looks like I have on a full coverage foundation but it feels like there is not a single speck of makeup on my face like the only thing I can feel on my face right now is my eyelashes <laughs> um this right here is probably one of the most full coverage soft matte perfectly blurring skin smoothing um base products that I have ever found it is a lightweight easy to apply you can apply it with your fingers I like to apply it with a brush though um it just goes on like nothing like it feels like nothing on your skin but it covers everything like this is such a beautiful product um, I absolutely love it. I tried this, I think, sometime last year, and I haven't been able to put it down, or maybe at the beginning of the year. I don't know when this came out, but I've had it, I've had it since it came out, and I love it. It is a beautiful product. The shade range is not bad for what this product is either. I'm in the shade Dark One Neutral. It's just, it's a good match. It feels amazing. It feels <clears throat> super lightweight on the skin and comfortable so if you haven't tried this I highly suggest especially if you're someone who wants something that has the ease of a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer but you want the coverage of a foundation highly suggest I feel like for summer having a good orange lip product is always the move and my favorite is the slip shine lipstick from Fenty and this is the shade Tang thing and I love it um it's a little gunky because I always mix it with a I always mix it with a lip liner but this is my favorite orange shade I have it on today as well as the one size blur balm yeah I love the slip shine lipsticks I feel like they don't get a lot of hype they don't get a lot of play but this is such a beautiful formula it is really creamy and pillowy on the lips and it gives like the perfect amount of sheen um it's like a it's like a lipstick but it also has like that creamy finish of a lip gloss I love the formula of these in general like these in general are a summer staple for me formula wise um but this color is like everything for summer and then I've also been loving these Kaja um gloss shots I have the shade Milk Tea and I also have a couple of other shades, but these days, if you see a gloss on me, usually I'm wearing this. I would say like in the last few videos that I've, I've been in, I've been wearing this gloss and it's beautiful. It is not too pigmented, but it's just enough and it leaves this beautiful shiny creamy finish on your lips and I'm in love. Um, they have several different colors. And it's a really pillowy, like cushiony formula. It feels amazing on the skin. So I highly suggest those. Y'all know I don't play about my body care ever, any season. But I also have discovered a lot of new favorites for the summertime. I have been using the back and body products from Urban Skinner X for the last like month or so, just testing them out to see how I feel. Um, and I am in love with this Clear Skin Clarifying Back and Body Spray. Um, this has 10% glycolic acid and salicylic acid. Um, and this, it works. I'm still trying to clear up the dark marks on my back. But you can see like all this was like active acne on my back and on my shoulders. And it is gone. So this really works. The, when I first started using this, like literally, I would say like a day or two in, it already had like dried up and cleared up the acne on my back. Um, you do have to be consistent with it. If you're not using it, it will come back. <laughs> but it is really, really nice. And you can feel it working. The first time you use it, it may feel a little tingly. Make sure you don't have any open like wounds on your skin or anything. Um, but this 
is bomb, easy to use, and you can hold it upside down and still spray it. So I love this, as well as the Even Tone Smoothing Body Treatment. This has 12% glycolic acid, kojic acid, and retinol. So I haven't been um, using this as consistently as I've been using the spray. I've been using the spray every day. I need to get more consistent with this because this is what is going to try to help clear up those dark spots on my back because this does have that kojic acid, the glycolic, and the retinol. Um, so this is going to help resurface. But this makes my skin feel so smooth and supple. Y'all know I have been like a body care queen stan like forever. Um, and like... I've been using the best of the best and my skin has not felt as soft ever as it does when I'm using this. So I like to use this um, fresh out of the shower. I will apply this to help calm any acne that is there. And then I will go on top of that with this on my back, my chest, my arms, my legs. You can use this all over, but it is a treatment. This is not um, a moisture product. Even though it makes your skin feel absolutely phenomenal and soft, you do need to make sure that you are locking everything in with a moisturizer. And I love this. It is so good. And it makes my legs just look and feel bomb as well. So these two have really been like showing up and showing out. I highly suggest them. Um, I do have a code with them, but they are updating our coupon codes, I think because they're just really long. Um, so they're going to change the coupon codes and as soon as I have a new coupon code I will put it down in the description box for you guys um, but just so you know I am still working with them but the coupon code that I have had listed for Urban Skin RX may not work right now because they're changing them so I will update it as soon as possible and then speaking of treatment products uh, I was gifted a huge PR package from Necessaire and I think they sent it to me right after I finished editing my self-care haul. Otherwise, I would have put this in there. But I was shocked to see this, like, pull up at my door. Um, and they sent me quite a few things. They sent me a huge thing of their body wash, um, their new SPF, their Next Serum. And they also sent me some other products that I really wanted to try, as well as some refills of staple products that are already, like, in my collection from them. Um, and one product they sent me is the body serum. This is their fragrance free body serum. And this is the hyaluronic acid serum to help hydrate, replenish and plump your skin. And I absolutely love this. On the days that I'm not using the Urban Skin RX one, I'm using this. This is really, really nice. And this is one that I don't have an issue using in the daytime. I personally don't use the Urban Skin RX one in the daytime. I just feel better about using that at night. I'm that way with anything that contains retinol. This one I will often use during the day. I'll apply this on slightly damp skin and then I'll go on with their lotion or a body butter on top. And it just makes your skin feel really nice and supple and it adds a really beautiful glow. Y'all, I've tried quite a few body serum type products um, over the last couple of years and I've never talked about them because I've never liked any of them. Um, most of the body serums that I've tried have kind of like pilled up and not really um, absorbed into the skin. And this one and the one from Urban Skin RX are the best two that I have found. So if you're looking for a really good body serum, if you just wanna go for extra hydration, especially if you're someone who doesn't like to use body butters in the summertime and you just like to go with a lotion, this underneath pretty much any lotion will have you feeling phenomenal during this time of year. And I feel like this is still gonna come in clutch in the winter too. So this one and the one from Urban Skin RX are everything. Those are the only two body serums that I recommend. Along with the Necessaire um, serum, I also love to use the body lotion. I've been using this for a hot minute. Um, now that they sent me a re-up, I can go ahead and finish this off. <laughs> I've kind of been um, hoarding it um, because I didn't wanna buy another one too soon. But I use this underneath all of my body butters. Um, I like to use a nice lightweight hydrating lotion underneath all of my body butters. It is such a game changer. And this is amazing because it is truly fragrance free. There is no fragrance free smell. Um, it doesn't have any funky after scent either. It truly goes on and has no smell, but it is very nourishing and hydrating to the skin. So this comes in clutch for me. Absolutely love it. I use it pretty much every day. 
um, and it really helps in the summertime too because sometimes I don't like to layer my fragrances too much in the summertime just because the heat can kind of make everything smell stronger and it can get a little annoying. So a lot of times I will just go in with an unscented lotion and then go on with my fragrance on top. It's what I do a lot of the time. So this is bomb. Absolutely love it. If you haven't tried this, if you need a good fragrance free lotion, I know it's a little pricey, but it's the best one that I found. I also have a couple of oils, um, body oils. The first one is what I'm wearing today. Actually, I just actually made a mess of this. This one is from Roll by Mercury Bath Company, and they actually have a sale going on right now. Um, I think free shipping with every $35 order, and you can still use my code with it. So I will have my code right here if you want to shop them. They still have plenty of things on their website. Even though they're not doing a restock this month, there's still plenty for you to get. Um, and I don't think this is still on the website, but the other oils that are there are really good too. This has been my favorite. This is the Golden Goddess Bath and Body Oil. Y'all can see I made a mess of her. Um, <laughs> but this is amazing. I always love her oils because she has the best shimmer. This stuff smells so good. The scent profile is passion fruit, nectarine, and rock candy. And I literally, this is all that I'm wearing and my mom thought I was wearing perfume. <laughs> um this smells so good it literally smells like passion fruit candy it's so good and it leaves your body just perfectly glowy I'm actually wearing it today I don't have the light up super high because like I said I kind of blinded myself earlier but I love her bath and body oils you can slip this in the bath um to make a nice little bath cocktail or I like to use them directly on my body on top of a lotion. A lot of times during the summer, instead of using a body butter, I will use a body oil on top of my lotion um, just to kind of get that extra glow and like supple looking skin. Um, and her oils smell so good. So a lot of times I can just rock the oil and I don't have to put a fragrance with it. Absolutely love that one. And another one that I've really been enjoying is the Ole Henriksen Touch Firmly Yours Toning Dry Body Oil. This is really nice. It has elderberry, sweet white lupin extract and vegan peptides this is a really nice straightforward body oil and it does kind of have that really nice silky dry oil feel um so it leaves your skin really glowy and soft and beautiful but it sinks in and it doesn't leave you super duper greasy or oily um this is beautiful and i also love pairing this with their beam cream smoothing body moisturizer this has AHAs, fruit enzymes, and caffeine. So this is supposed to help like firm and leave you with really smooth skin. This makes my skin feel really, really nice, even though I don't think that it has any like, for me, I haven't really felt a ton of firming benefits to it. You need so little of this product. It smooths onto your skin like a dream. I think I have some videos of me using this on Instagram so I will upload that as a short so you guys can see this it's incredibly creamy these two products together the beam cream and the dry oil like ugh, perfect summer skin like perfect summer skin the first one should be no surprise this is the pinky blue with body butter and midnight and Maui this one right here is one of my favorite summer scents I don't wear a perfume or anything when I have this on you don't need it Pinky Blue just has one of the best body butter formulas. It is just thick and rich and it makes your skin look so beautiful and soft and glowy and it makes your skin feel so good. This right here, I, she doesn't have the scent profile on this. I will try to put it on the screen for you guys. But this is like crisp, clean, a little tart, a little fruity. It's the perfect summer scent. It is strong, but it's still fresh. And I love this. It just smells so good. And I love the Pinky Blue Body Butter Formula. On top of that, I have also been in heavy rotation with the Guava and Pineapple Nectar Body Butter from Butter Me Up Goods. Y'all. Y'all know I've been a Butter Me Up stan for a while now. But this scent... This scent, y'all, 
I love it. This is the most luscious, unctuous guava and pineapple scent I've ever smelled. It has like the slightest hint of vanilla and this juicy pineapple with this really nice fragrant guava and like a hint of coconut. It smells so good. And I wore this out the other day and I, I smelled like 10 out of 10. And it smells really nice with a lot of different um, perfumes too, a lot of my favorite summer perfumes. But this smells amazing on its own too. Absolutely love it. It just smells so sweet and honeyed and ugh, it smells like black girl magic. Like I think about black girls and this is the smell that comes to mind. It's so good. It is not like your typical summertime coconut sunscreen, all that good stuff. This is different. This is luxe. It's elegant. And the formula of the Butter Me Up Goods body butters is on point like you can't go wrong and I I think I just put up a short a YouTube short if you go on um the channel there should be a YouTube short of me demo demoing this product it's just beautiful absolutely love it um for me summertime is all about um it's not that I necessarily care about frizz I like to keep my volume I like to keep things um you know bouncy and fun I like to keep my hair clean and I just like to keep it looking effortless and beautiful but I also like to protect my hair from the horrible humidity that we have this time of year so I always love to use a curl primer especially with my thicker gels um a lot of those gels are really really great to help with humidity um they're really great to help with hold but for me a lot of times they give me helmet hair and I would rather I would rather have undefined frizzy big hair than just have my hair stuck to my head making me look like a naked mole rat. Um, so what do we do? We use a curl primer. Um, this one is the Reflex Curl Styling Serum from Trey Lux, and I literally just use like a 25 cent piece um, on each side of my head. I'll run it through each side and then I will apply whatever thick gel I'm using um the way that you guys always see me apply my products and products like the reflex as well as the one from Eden Body Works the almond marshmallow serum what they do is they add this buoyancy and shine and bounce to the hair and they add this layer of volume without taking away from the definition of whatever gel you're using. So you still get that definition and you get that hold from the gel, but this adds more flexibility and it makes your hair more pliable. And for me, um, hold is nice, but if it's hold that has no flexibility, then it's not a lasting hold for me. You know what I'm saying? It's either gonna make my hair gunky, it's gonna look a hot mess, or it's just gonna flake off. I like my hold to have some flexibility to it. Flexibility ensures that I can wear my hair for days. Um, and a lot of times adding a curl primer is what will set things apart for me. So I absolutely love this one as well as the Eden Body Works curl primer. Um, if you are not using curl primers in your routine, if you are someone who has fine hair and you struggle with gels, I highly suggest getting you a good curl primer. Highly suggest it. And then this one is a staple. It's almost empty. I need to buy another one. The Curlsmith Hydro Style Flexi Styling Jelly from the Scout Recipes line. This along with the air dry cream, the weightless air dry cream, staple. This gives me the definition. It gives me the flexible hold. It gives me the volume, but humidity does not touch this baby. I remember when I did my Curlsmith review and I used this during a time when I literally was spending like entire work shifts outside. And if you know anything about North Carolina, it can still be cold outside and it will still be hella humid. And my hair would look exactly the same way it did when I started my shift at the end of my shift, even if I got caught in the rain or if it was just really, really nasty out and really humid that day, everything would stay the same. This is everything. This is one of my favorite stylers for the summer. It is one of the few stylers that I would be totally comfortable with having like a liter size of. The only product I own a liter of anything in is the Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic, the original formula. Um, I would get a liter of this because it's that good. I'm actually kind of considering just, you know, shelling out the money to get a big thing of this. I think they have the jumbo sizes in this. 
I would do it for this because it's bomb. <laughs> I'm almost under the air dry cream too. So I love this product. It takes a while for me to get through a styler. So the fact that this is almost empty, that tells you everything you need to know. I always like to have a good strong hold gel. This one has stolen my heart this year. I've already gotten backups of her. This is the Okra Curl Defining Gel. This is made with okra extract for all hair types from Nature's Little Secret. I do have a review on this product, so you can go check that out on the channel. Um, I love this. It's everything. Charnay did that. Um, this has great ingredients. There's okra extract, there's aloe, marshmallow root, avocado, agave. She really took her time getting this formula right, and I absolutely love it. It's smooth. It's creamy. This is bomb for wash and goes. And I've also been using it to lay down and slick back my hair. And I've been doing buns and puffs with it. And my hair loves it. But it doesn't leave my hair ever feeling dry. It leaves my hair feeling really moisturized and soft. Um, this is everything. A lot of people have been asking me how long does it last on my hair. Um, I can get a week out of this. I could probably get more if I wanted to. But you guys know I try not to do that. But I can absolutely 100% get a week out of this and I and I definitely can. I've gotten caught in the rain with this and it's still done really, really well for me. It's very nourishing on top of being a beautiful holding product and it leaves your hair super duper shiny and it does not flake. I love this so much. And she's come out with the larger sizes of this too. So you can now get the larger sizes of her of this product. This headache is like blowing up. I feel like my head is about to explode. So let's talk about fragrance and then I am going to head out and go take some medicine. <laughs> I have three fragrances here. I have three category categories that I like to go for. I like fruity floral, I like clean and fresh, and I like sweet and creamy. Those are the three profiles that I like to go for um, during the summertime. The first one is N. Mikalef Ylang and Gold. Um, they sent me some perfume at the beginning of the year, um, and they also sent me this baby in a travel size to try, and I've been hoarding her and trying not to use her too much. This is one of the most beautiful vanilla, coconut, um, yellow floral fragrance ever, and it almost kind of has like this banana custard quality to it. It is so sweet and creamy, but very put together very feminine very elegant it's it's giving luxe vacation like very luxe vacation i love this so much like when i'm thinking sweet and creamy for this time of year this is this is what i'm thinking of and i am definitely planning on getting a full bottle of it because it is one of the most stunning fragrances i have ever come across for my more so fresh and clean pick. Um, Tara Di Gioia from Giorgio Armani has been the go-to for me if I'm looking for something that is like that perfect pick-me-up, fresh out of the shower scent. I love it because this is not your typical shampoo-y type of clean scent. This has pear blossom, there's almond blossom. Mm. It is aquatic, but it is still slightly warm and fresh. This just smells like clean, fresh, warm skin. It also has like a little bit of a lotion-y quality to the fragrance that I absolutely love. This I feel like is great for year round, but it has really like come in clutch. As someone who likes to have a little bit of warmth to her fragrances regardless of the season, this is it for me when it comes to having something that is clean and fresh and like ready to wear, like fresh out of the shower. That also has a little bit of warmth and sweetness to it. I highly suggest this. If you're someone who's looking for a really good casual fragrance, something that's like good out of the shower to wear to work, um, or just to have as a signature everyday fragrance, this right here is it. And last but not least, I was shocked by how much of a staple this has become. Um, I hauled this earlier maybe a couple of weeks ago, even though I filmed that video like a month and a half ago. Um, but this is Sunfruit from Ellis Brooklyn. This is the perfect fruity floral fig fragrance. Yeah, it's tart. There's passion fruit. There's star fruit. 
and the fig in this is really really nice there's some jasmine in here but what i really like about it is that it is tart and fruity but the fig kind of gives this really nice like creamy element to it so it's not just your typical fruity floral like it's fruity and it's floral but there's this creamy fig undertone to it that i'm obsessed with um this is one of my first fig dominant fragrances and i love it it's so good the scent honestly smells like the bottle like you see this bottle and the scent perfectly matches <laughs> what this bottle looks like it is beautiful it is bright it is sunshiny but it is still like smooth and elegant from that fig and i highly highly recommend it for this time of year um and like just so y'all know yes i know it's august but like it still feels like summer here until like mid-september so i'm gonna still have to wear hot girl shit until the weather decides to be kind <laughs> so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will have all the products listed in the description box below for y'all to check out as well as any coupon codes you may need um and like i said for the urban skin rx one i will have to come back and update you guys on what the new code is since they are doing away with our old ones so yeah i will have that up as soon as possible i hope you guys enjoyed this y'all let me know what some of your favorite summer staple products are and i'll see you guys in the next video bye